Welcome back guys to part eight of the video series. And uh, in this video, we're gonna be uh, finishing up our scene, basically uh, setting up our scene the way we want it to look for the final composition. So what I wanna do is go back to the top where it says layout, choose that layout. And we finished up our box in the last video. And depending on how you want to set up your composition, um, you might wanna angle this in a different direction. Now, um, we worked pretty hard on this and this looks really good, but this isn't our focus on the course, it's the cereal. So this needs to go in the background while the cereal remains in the foreground. So um, keeping that in mind, we also want to kind of showcase this because we did model this as well. So what I want to do is rotate this. You don't have to. So if we go to press zero to enter our camera, we can um, press G, Y to scale this back a little bit and then um, further rotate our camera. So let's press camera to view, check that. And um, this looks okay, but I think we can make this look a lot better by rotating it on the side. So what I'm gonna do is press R90, press Y, or we could uh, turn it on the side even further than this. I think this is fine for what we want. And I'll rotate this slightly. bring this up higher so it's not going through the ground and uh, we'll bring it closer we'll push GY bring it a little closer and also what I want to do is just scroll out so I can see this composition a bit better do want to bring this closer and I'm zooming in by pressing control shift and middle mouse the same time and I'll bring this closer this way Press GY I'll bring this this way as well as rotate this just a little bit more this way so I want to see it go through the bowl because the bowl is transparent if we go to cycles we can kind of see how this looks as a composition. And it's not too bad. This is kind of what we want. And also I want to make more cereal in the bowl. So to do that, we're going to go back to shading mode. Let's exit out the camera by checking that off. Go to preview render. And what I want to do is select the milk. And then we can go back to our particles tab and we can dial the number up a bit. So maybe 47 to somewhere closer to this, maybe um, 94, 95. And then you can change the seed as well. So if you don't like how that's looking, you can also do something like this. But now we have some colliding going on with the seed. So I think I'll change that a little bit more as well. Looks to be good. We have a couple seeping through. We could always rotate this so we don't see it, but we'll see it on the opposite end if we do that. Notice as we rotate it, the seed changes as well. So looks good here. Now we can go back into the camera with zero and see how this looks once again. Go cycles, let it. Render for a bit. And that looks better for Fruit Loops. It looks more complete. We just need a couple going through the milk that we can see with a subsurface scatter applied to it. And this is looking really good. For the next video, we will be moving forward to adding a couple of Cheerios outside of the bowl just for um, to mess it up a little bit because it's the tiny details that really matter when you're putting off a project like this because imperfections are perfections. Always remember that, guys. So we got our milk right there. It looks really good. It looks a lot less like a yogurt. And if you want to change the color, you can. This looks good here. I'm satisfied with this composition, so I will um, continue moving forward. Grabbing a couple of Cheerios. Let me just file save this really quick before we get too far ahead of ourselves. And with the bowl, with the box as well, <clears throat> I 
I want to add some thickness to it. And if you zoom in really close, you can see that it's really sharp. And that takes away the illusion of being realistic. So we'll have to add a bevel. And with the box selected, and toggle back on our overlays, we can go to the modifier tab and add a bevel to it. You see how it's softened that up. So you can see how it looks without it. With it, looks really good. And you can change the number of segments as well to make it make a little bit more sense. And once you're satisfied, you can apply this. So if you go back to our camera view with the number zero on the number pad, you see that a bit better. And if you need to change the serial, if it, you feel it's too low, you can always select that and change it so we can get better shadow bakes as well with the lighting. You have two great um, shadows casted here and this looks great. See a secondary uh, bounce as well from the point light. And if we needed to, we could also add um, depth of field to this and kind of focus more on the bowl and defocus the background. Or you can do that in Photoshop, it doesn't really matter. This looks great for now. In the next video, we'll continue adding particles to the box to add some imperfection. So I'll catch you guys in the next video.